The darts, the darts you do, the darts on me, but darts on you. Uh, I've been doing a darts so like, I've been doing doing the darts for. I don't know, I've probably been focused on them for like a year and a half now. Uh, I've done them, I've definitely known known the Darces and like have done them here and there from uh, since the beginning of my training really, but I haven't really put a big emphasis on it just because I was more focused on other aspects of my game. Like I, I valued like the back control and uh, back and rear naked choke much higher than I, I valued other submissions. So now I'm able to kind of uh, implement the different game plans. I'm finding finding that the Darce is just kind of, kind of coming pretty natural to me you know I'm a lanky guy so it kind of uh, with my wrestling movements and what I am usually able to scramble find an opening and lock it up as uh, as I go yeah it's been a, a part of my game now but I haven't I haven't had the chance to do it in competition yet I kind of like shot one a, a few matches ago didn't work out well so so uh, I'm still chasing them you know I'm finding different ways to get it it's like it's one thing to know a submission but to get like to do it on the best guys in the world you really have to know uh, many different ways to get to those dominant positions and then find the, the submission of your choice. One of my favorite ways to set up the darts is off of a wrestling scramble. Maybe I do something like an arm drag, um, put them down towards the mat on their back, and then I force north-south position. They cho they go to turtle to kind of sit up and get and create space, and boom, I start dropping in the darts, locking it up, and uh, usually it's a home run after that. I think uh, once you're able to get to the darts, uh, some of the mechanics I would say is look to get your choking hand as deep as possible. So much so that you're not locking your your bicep or um, you're not locking your, the bicep with your fingers, but more so closer to the wrist. And also when we're having our hand on, on the back of our opponent, look to walk the fingers to the far trap. And you can even do things like use your lat to pull down, as opposed to like a more of an internal squeeze. We use a kind of rotational retraction.
So chasing the darts, I'm a single leg. Boom, he shoots, I snap, I begin sprawling. As I break his hands on the sprawl, I begin, uh, I give the head a light tap with my left as I come in deep with my right. From here, I lock, I lock the wrist deep around my right arm, begin scooting my right hip in. As I begin walking my way towards him, it's important that I walk my hand towards the far trap. So I get here, I'm able to scoot in. Most of the time you can finish up from here. If you want to make it better, heist up the top mount, set all our weight, like this up. He shoots, I sprawl, boom. Walk the head, shoot the darts. Again, lock my hands, we're steep. As I fall to the hip, walk my fingers to the far trap. One, two, three. 